If I've done anything wrong, tell me. Right, okay. We're in a free, we're, this is a free speech issue, I'm sorry. This is a free speech issue. We are, I'm not causing any trouble. They are the ones making a fuss. And they shouldn't get the police as their private security. I think it's I, a disgrace. Nobody said that, have they? Who said that? And on top of that, Kerry, you told me to stop filming and then you said there's an allegation. Now, if I didn't have my camera, how would I prove my innocence? You know what? I know they are causing the fuss. I am not causing the fuss. I'm just standing up for myself, yeah, right? There's a fuss being caused and I've come up to deal with it. Oh, no, listen, Kerry. Listen, we can't say that. They don't, what, they're from China? Welcome to the Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. On January 19, 2020, British pianist Brendan Kavanagh was live streaming himself at a public performance of his piano riffs at the St. Pancras Underground Station in London when he was approached by a group of people holding Chinese Communist flags. And the video for that is now in the Tales from SYL Ranch Darkroom. I'll link it to it in my description box below. When Kavanaugh left the piano to approach the group, the video shows the group members becoming aggressive, and one man screamed at Kavanaugh to stop touching a woman when he reached for the communist flag that she was holding. Now, Kavanaugh clearly wasn't touching the woman. The um, man shouting at him was an obvious Karen attempt to claim that he was touching her so as to implicate him if the Chinese decided to call the police later. And indeed, the Chinese did call the British Transport Police, prompting the officer to request that Kavanaugh not use the footage. She took particular umbrage at the fact that Kavanaugh pointed out that they were Chinese, as you saw in the teaser, defensively telling him, you can't say that. Why it's particularly upsetting to her that he was pointing out the obvious is puzzling since it was objective reality that the group was Chinese. Now, the reason the original live stream is in the darkroom isn't simply be because me trying to cash in on what's become a viral video, though I freely admit that I'm not above doing so. It's there because in the last two days, a concerted effort has been made by persons unknown to pressure Kavanaugh to remove the video from his channel. He currently has three complaints against it, and I can tell you as a fellow YouTuber that three complaints puts you in grave danger of having your entire channel deleted. As a consequence of this, Kavanaugh has explicitly relinquished copyright to the live stream and has asked YouTubers to post the video to their own channel. Tales from SYL Ranch is therefore proud to join the YouTube community in supporting Kavanaugh by posting the video to the darkroom. And as always, the darkroom version has been remastered to 4K and 60 frames per second from its original 720p and 24 frames per second. As Kavanaugh mentions in the teaser to this video, this is clearly a free speech issue. Kavanaugh routinely streams from the St. Pancras Underground Station. In fact, he does so on a piano donated by Sir Elton John. No Chinese national has the right in, to insist that he stop playing that piano. The rationale was that they were also present shooting some kind of industrial video and that Kavanaugh was inadvertently showing their faces while playing the piano. This is not adequate grounds to insist that he stop playing. Kavanaugh's performance was in a public place. If the Chinese group didn't want their faces shown, there's a very simple solution. Step out of frame. People do this all the time. Indeed, when I'm aware that someone is so much as taking a photo in public that I either don't want to be in or I think they, you know, a family photo that they don't want me to be in, I just walk behind the camera. The man who screamed at Kavanaugh to stop touching the Chinese woman was a total Karen move. He clearly wasn't touching her. It's exactly like that uh, particularly um, famous Karen video in which the Karen objects to a man walking his dog in public and then shrieks and rolls over, screaming that the dog bit her. This in spite of the fact <laughs> that she was clearly in frame the entire time and it was on video that the dog was nowhere near her. It's the same in Kavanaugh's video. Had he not been recording, the situation might have turned out even worse, since the Chinese would almost certainly have claimed that Kavanaugh assaulted the woman. 
And this speaks to a larger issue. One must always have one's camera out whenever you have any kind of confrontation. Unfortunately, it's all too common for someone to make false allegations to the police. And if you don't have a clear video record, there can be investigations and even arrests. And in this case, without the video evidence, it's clear that the Chinese would have claimed assault. But even more alarming than all this is why that police officer said that you can't say that the people in question were Chinese. They were clearly Chinese. Why is it a problem to point out the obvious? Why did the officer get so defensive? Well, one can only speculate, but here's mine. I think she was worried that the woke might have a hissy fit and claim some kind of racism on Kavanaugh's part if she didn't distance herself from it. His point was that it was a bunch of communist Chinese were trying to infringe and overlay their ideas, their communist standards, on his right of free speech. The whole incident was ridiculous in the extreme. The Chinese had no leg to stand on. The officer had no leg to stand on. And I've watched videos made by British police, and they routinely say uniformly that the officer had no leg to stand on. And in the process, she made British police in general look bad. The correct thing for the officer to have done was to tell the Chinese that unlike China, they were in a country in which free speech is respected and to go jump in the Thames. One hopes that this kind of thing is aberrant behavior by British police. Unfortunately, this to some extent mirrors what we see by police in the United States. Without video evidence to the contrary, police will often take the side of the complaining party. Always have your camera ready. If you get into any kind of altercation, or if you see any two people having any kind of an altercation, get out your camera. Your video record can make the difference between who the police will believe. And that's all I have to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave plenty of comments. I don't engage on social media for reasons I've explained previously, but I monitor my YouTube video comments closely, and I will engage you here. And if you're using social media, share me on social media, although you shouldn't be using social media for reasons that I've discussed in my video, Elon Musk is an evil, hypocritical drug dealer. And there's a link to that video in my description box below. So thanks for watching The Free Thought Frontier. And I'm your host, Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.